welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to combine a tree and a person. It's very simple and I really love how this turned out. You can always make your own changes. This is just to give you some ideas of how you could do it. First thing you're going to do is make a very simple tree. I like to draw a small face on the tree to get an idea as to where I want everything centered. I want the face to be the main leading point. It's a very simple face for a very simple tree. Now, when you're sketching it, it doesn't have to be perfect, not at all. So you can tell my sketch is not perfect, but I also, but I ha I don't want it to look realistic. I don't want it. I want it to be cute. Um, I want the face to lead into the tree, but have a body of a human, not a full body, because I cannot draw full bodies. So I'm just going to draw some form of a shape for the chin. Now, of course, this does change throughout. I don't make everything perfect. As you can tell right here, I am terrible at drawing anatomy. This is when I realized, yeah, drawing a body would not be good because realistically, that is a very tiny body for that big of a tree. Just saying, that was way off. And in total, it really didn't look good. So I'm just going out and drawing and making sure that everything looks good. Now, the other shoulder is not even, but I'm not concerned about that because it's a rough sketch. I'm not trying to make this part look perfect. I want to make sure that it's going to look somewhat good. So I don't want the arms being too far out and being too far in. I want them to look pretty decent. Now, the head I want fully connected to the tree, so it looks like the head is part of the tree. I want to put a shirt on this guy because, let's face it, it is very hard to draw like a skin kind of complexion, like as a cartoon, at least for me it is. But drawing clothing, I'm actually decent at. I'm just not that good at drawing certain kinds. But simple shirt, I can absolutely do. So, this one, again, do not have to make it perfect. But it's just something you can do. If you want to make it perfect right now, you can, but I really don't suggest it. So, what I do is I also try and put a little detail into my sketches. It doesn't always work. But sometimes it does. Like this one, it works. Now, what I love to do is I love looking at the canvas as a whole, turning the opacity down to see how well I can actually get started on sketching. Because if it looks good with the opacity turned down, then I can start sketching. So that's just something I personally do. You don't have to do it, but I do it. Now, I always use a black borderline like black outline that's just because to me it gives more of a professional kind of look and makes it stand out a little more so first I'm going to start with the shirt making the shirt outline in procreate is pretty hard because they do have where it like transforms the line and to where it looks nicer and cleaner for me it wasn't working here but I still got the kind of line and the outline that I wanted. Now I will say well, another thing I do is I do copy and paste, which you're about to see me do. That's just so I can make it look as even as possible because I want some, some parts of this to be even. Now normally I have a symmetry filter on even for when I'm sketching so it all comes together pretty smoothly that's just me you don't have to do it. I'm just not really great at eyeballing things so then I'm going to turn the opacity down on that once I get the placement done so I can go over it how I how I want now for me that just works for everyone it doesn't but it all takes time and just take it slow take it nice and easy now I will say Getting, the re getting that out of the way was the easy part. Now, drawing the armpits, the shirt, and the face, all easy. For me, what I struggled with 
was getting the tree done. The tree is super hard to do because it doesn't have to be perfect, but at the same time you want it perfect, but you don't. It's all it all depends on what you're seeing, what you want to see. So, I kind of like how this turned out because it kind of looks like roots in the armpits, like an actual like a tree having armpits with roots, which I thought was pretty cool because all that's happening underneath. Now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of wish like I drew like a root design on it. Maybe next time. We'll see. So, another thing is, so you'll notice I have that blue line at the very bottom from the sketch. That's because I didn't want to draw the whole body and that's where I wanted the canvas to be cropped and co go up to because I didn't want to waste that much space. So as I said, I copy and paste and drag over and resize all a lot and try and make it look as even as possible. I can only do this like if it's facing forwards. I cannot do it when it's facing any other direction unless it's through the back because then you have different angles coming in. Another thing with this, it does not really have like a light situation so the shading is not perfect with this one. Now, drawing the face was not easy, but it was fun to do. So, I'm just going to trace all the way up the head, and it's going to go all the way up into the branches that go into the tree. I want it to look somewhat realistic, so I have the branches where it looks like it gets cut off going into the leaves. Now that I've finished the outline of the branches, I'm going to start with the tree leaves, and this part took the longest. This part took me about 30 minutes to do because I could not get it perfect. Like, towards the end of doing it, it, it was such a struggle in that last bit in. Now, as you'll see, I don't always follow my sketches. I will go outside of them or inside it all depends on the kind of character i want to create but with this the leaves don't have to be perfect make it unique make it you you could make it look like a heart you, you could do anything with this now this is just my drawing i'm not a professional artist but this is just i like drawing so for me this is absolutely amazing now i will say drawing the leaves they don't have to be round you can go into more detail i don't go into very much detail but feel free to add as much detail as you want it doesn't have to be perfect especially if you're just starting out like i am even small drawings are really good now 
as you'll see as I finish this last one and get to the very, very last two, I struggled. Specifically with this one. It just, it didn't feel right to me. Now, I always zoom out to look and see how it would look from a big picture. But that's just me. I suggest everyone does that because it makes it look better. Now, if you'll notice, the leaves don't exactly match up, which does bother me a little because it's not perfect, but it is what it is. So now I'm cleaning everything up to make it actually look really nice. Then I need to go in and color everything, which is very, very simple. The nice feature about this is I can just fill and draw. That's what that line was for is because it also allows me to color fill so I don't have to worry about it. Now after we're done coloring, we go to shading. Now when I was coloring the head, it was not the easiest. I will say that. But I don't want it being a full color like it was, so what I did is I created a new layer and erased that full color fill and did a pale complexion for the lower face and a darker tree kind of color for the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it all together, like right in between where they should meet and give that darker tone more of that fitting for it. It's not a very good shading, but you can get into more detail, make it look so much better. This was just very simplistic, so I didn't want it to be perfect. Now, I do have to readjust my shader because it was just causing lines and I didn't want that. Now, I'm going to erase all the stuff on the outside. Now, there are going to be issues that come with this. That's why I normally layer everything where it should be, have an outline, have its own color in a layer, and then have shading in a layer. That's just so everything looks good. You'll see what I'm talking about with shading and with the color. Whenever I change the background, it, it looks a little off, but I did fix some of it, which I think looks amazing now. Now on to shading. Shading is one of my favorite things to do. It gives it a little more life. Now this is all up to how you want it done. And that's pretty much it. Just shade everything that you want shaded and it'll look how you want it. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see anything else like this or if you want me to draw anything leave a comment don't forget to subscribe and like the video and i'll see you next time